30 minutes ago, workers at the Brevard County Zoo were speaking just hours after Florida Fish and Wildlife released their report on what happened. The girl fell into the exhibit at the Brevard Zoo on New Year's Day. Florida Fish and Wildlife says the enclosure was up to standards. The new report details how the girl had a bruised lung, lacerated liver, and bruises to her chest, stomach, and back. New 6's Jerry Askin is live outside the zoo in Melbourne. And Jerry, did the zoo say anything about the changes they will be making? Um, yes, I tell you, they have reviewed safety changes here and said putting up a net is likely their best option to make sure this uh, doesn't happen again. The zoo's director here saying there really is no um, timeline, but the rhino exhibit, he says, remains closed until more safety changes are made. For the first time, Brevard Zoo leaders are addressing this newly released FWC investigative report. This all happening after a two-year-old girl lost her balance falling inside this zoo encounter with two rhinos. It happened back on New Year's Day. The report said the rhinos pinned her against the enclosure, hurting her seriously after she got inside. The FWC gave us these photos showing the girl's injuries. Cuts and bruising all over her arms, chest, and legs. The father was able to reach in to pull the girl out. We feel absolutely terrible that this happened to her and her family while they were visiting the zoo. We asked zoo leaders today if they knew how serious the girl's injuries were before she was taken to the hospital. The report saying two zoo staffers were present when everything happened. We didn't know. We just knew, as the report said initially, there wasn't any obvious injuries. The encounter has been closed ever since. Zoo leaders saying the rhino encounter here met state mandates and the entire zoo has been recently accredited. They're working with the FWC to find ways to better protect this encounter. We have looked at a couple of different options of what we want to do uh, to make sure no one could ever slip with the bars between. Um, in the future and what we're recommending to do is to put up a netting system about 36 inches high that would make it impossible for someone to ever get in there again. Yes, and the zoo saying they haven't received any prior complaints about the rhino enclosure, even though a Peggy um, Conkle told News 6 last night that her granddaughter 10 years ago was able to walk right through those bars. And I tell you, the zoo's director gave us a few lessons and explained some policy changes here. I'm working that part of the story for News 6 at 6 o'clock. We're live here in Brevard County. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.